Courtney, uh, I've liked your optimism, by the way, as well, in recent shows, and you were already kind of looking beyond technology. What do you like here? What else is out there with potential opportunity to the upside? Yeah, I mean, I, can, I think at some point you really got to look beyond technology as it gets more and more expensive. And we've been talking in the last several weeks about looking more at value rather than your growth companies. If you just look at it historically, your value tends to outperform growth by about four and a half percent a year. And we're just coming off a decade where growth is significantly outperformed. So I think we are kind of due for a rotation there. We are really starting to see that valuation line up. And just to get kind of more granular in there, we're really looking at your small value companies rather than your large. So you're really starting to see your small caps are picking up earnings a lot faster than your large caps are. And just those valuation discrepancies are getting so wide right now. There's so much opportunity still in your small cap values. And that's really where I'm looking to add any right. new money right now. I just read this morning, indoor dining in Philadelphia soon, high school sports back in New Jersey, COVID-19 cases are coming down and there's serious vaccine hopes uh, Courtney, how does this inform your portfolio? Let's just say, you know, we come back, we're a little bit smarter, we party a little less, we social distance, we get a vaccine approved in November. What changes will you make? Uh, are you making ahead of something like that? Yeah, I think it really comes down to just staying invested. And I, I think just kind of to echo all of these thoughts that we've had today, there is still a lot of value to be had in the markets. There's certain things that are getting very expensive right now, but there's so much cash on the sidelines. And I would just really urge everyone, don't wait for some sort of drop to happen. I think there's a lot of optimism. We're seeing things kind right. of open and vaccine or not, things are getting back to normal. There's still a lot of places in the economy that haven't hit their highs and are still great buying opportunities, specifically right. a lot of those value and, and dividend and you, paying stocks and, that we've highlighted today. And, and and you also say that uh, vaccine or not, we're going to learn how to reopen better. And that means it's going to be better for the economy either way. I, yep, I, I think we're already kind of seeing that. I don't know if you've noticed that, but just day to day, things are yeah. starting to feel a little bit more back to normal. Definitely not there, but vaccine or not, I think we'll get there.